The federal government handed down its budget on Tuesday and state governments are feeling the squeeze. GST revenue is down significantly. The state government will now get $1.3 billion less than expected over the next four years. Treasurer Jack Snelling also has the problem that state revenue is down by $1.5 billion. That means the budget is now $2.8 billion lighter than Jack Snelling was expecting at this time last year. I spoke with the Treasurer earlier today. Jack Snelling, welcome to 7.30 South Australia. Thank you. The South Australians facing a budget that delivers fewer services and the ones that remain are more expensive. Well, I've said that everything's uh, on the table. I'm not in a position to rule anything in or out. Uh, I will do everything I can uh, in the face of this massive revenue write-down, the largest revenue write-down in our state's history. But we are uh, facing to... less and more, aren't we? Less services, more expense. Well, I'll do everything I can to make sure that we continue to provide the level of services South Australians have come to expect and that we continue our massive infrastructure program. You're saying you're getting less than you expected, but it's not less in real terms, is it? You're getting less than you projected. Uh, that's right. So when the uh, budget is done, it's done over four years into the future, what we call the forward estimates. Uh, we make projections about what sort of revenue we expect. Those projections, the GST projections, are based upon the information that the Commonwealth Treasury provide us about the total GST take across the country. So and it's it, that that's reduced. It's, it's, a real, it's a cut in one sense, but not a cut in real terms. You don't actually get less money. It's less than expected. Well, that's right. But we also have higher expenses as time goes on. At any point in time did you say to Wayne Swan, why don't you do some hard work instead of leaving it to me and the other states? Well, yeah, we certainly, I made some points uh, very strongly and you'll recall that I was uh, uh, in, covered extensively in the media at the time uh, because uh, the states as a whole, uh, uh, the uh, GST has not kept up with the growth in the economy. The GST, when it was introduced in 2001, uh, uh, ha was providing a certain amount of uh, revenue and it has not has not kept up are you with economic a growth. GST rate? No, I'm not advocating anything. What I'm doing is just pointing out that the problem that the GST hasn't uh, delivered what it promised to deliver when it was introduced. It hasn't kept up with economic growth and provided a, a, a strong revenue stream quite the way we anticipated it did well, at the time. Well, the way to address that would surely be to increase the rate of the GST. Is that well, there's a number of options. It, what, what really it means at the bottom is that uh, I think the states need to engage with the Commonwealth about how the Commonwealth can better support the states to deliver the services which the public have come to expect. You've been uh, committed to Labor politics since you were a very young man. You are now in a position where you'll be giving in the next couple of budgets uh, over half a billion dollars to two wealthy private businesses whilst you're cutting back on other services. Um, in other words, the Adelaide Oval. Are you comfortable with that? Does that sit comfortably with you as a Labor person? Well, it does. I mean, there are many, many people in my electorate. I have a uh, solid working class electorate and they enjoy Australian uh, rules football. So and I've no doubt that they'll be uh, availing themselves of the Adelaide Oval. The other thing is... Mm -hmm. I have young people in my electorate who will get jobs because of the economic activity that the Adelaide Oval and the redeveloped Adelaide Oval will bring. So you're comfortable giving half a billion dollars to two private businesses whilst well, you're delaying the Norlunga Hospital expansion. I'll just run through the list quickly. Cuts to Keith Hospital, cuts to TAFE women's courses, cuts to historic registration schemes, cuts to the Australian Dance Theatre, cuts to Lee Warren, cuts to the drug beat program, the sale of South Australian forestries, the sale of lotteries and state admin centre if you can get rid of it. You are comfortable with that? You're characterising it as a donation to a private company, which it's not. We're building an asset for all South Australians, an asset, a redeveloped Adelaide Oval, state-of-the-art sporting stadium for all the people of this state that will, that, will, that will benefit future generations and generate mm. economic growth, particularly in the city of Adelaide, which is one of our key sure. objectives. I, I take your point on that, but it's about priorities. And what you're saying is, is that this is a priority over all those other things. All As a Labor other, person, do you feel comfortable with that? The other, other thing that we're doing, of course, is redeveloping a new Royal Adelaide Hospital, which will benefit future generations of South Australians. A, a, a $2.1 billion uh, build to build a brand new city ho metropolitan hospital, which is going to itself, uh, uh, and which, which, mind you, that we took to the last election in the face of some pretty vocal objections from a range of people. Uh, so, yes, I'm very, very comfortable with the priorities which the government have set. Jack Snelling, um, 
Let's finish on a positive note. Uh, is there a light at the end of the tunnel and are you sure it's not a speeding train? <laughs> I'm very, very uh, uh, sure of that. I mean, the fact is South Australia has a very bright economic future. You know, when I left uh, university, uh, most of my fellow graduates, uh, the, the ambitious uh, fellow graduates, had to leave South Australia to pursue uh, occupations interstate or overseas. What I want to see is a South Australia where that doesn't happen Im anymore and I want to see a South Australia where we see those former South Australians coming back here because there are opportunities for them and I'm very confident that with the economic growth that we're going to see, particularly with the resources and advanced manufacturing, we'll see just that. Treasurer, a pleasure to have you with us. Thanks very much for your time today. Thank you, sir.